It's time now for the Mike Rickenbaugh Ford Lincoln Give Mike a Try.com Game of the Week. All right, the Game of the Week features two teams ranked in the state of North Carolina. We're talking about Scotland County and Richmond County. Always a battle. The stands are always full. This one is the one everyone circles each year and tonight's well, it was another barn burner between these two old rivals with the conference championship on the line. Zamir White, final regular season home game for the Georgia Commit. And the Fighting Scots of Scotland High coming out, ready to get things going. First possession for the Scots. Give it to the senior tailback. Zamir takes a pitch, turns the corner. He is in from 30. 7-0 Scotland County. Richmond, though. They answer right back. Dante Miller takes it up the middle on an eight-yard run. We are tied at seven. Scotland gets the ball back on another scoring opportunity. This time, Warren Bell fights his way over the goal line with the extension. Extra point, no good, 13-7. Scotland still in the first. It's Zeus again. Uh, this time, he brought his A game. 33-yard touchdown makes it 20-7. Richmond fighting back. Caleb Hood throws a screen pass to Deshaun Wallace. 25-yard hookup cuts the Scotland lead to six. On the ensuing kickoff, Zeus gathered it at his own 10 and uses pure speed. He is going to return it 90 to the house. That puts the Scots ahead of 27-14 at the end of the first. We move the second. Richmond on the move. Miller with a 13-yard TD cuts the deficit to seven. After making a stop, the Raiders get it back. Hood back to the air show. Hits Stand back on the 30-yard connection. Game tied at 27. Scotland, though, another drive late before the half. Bell throwing it to Zeus. This touchdown pass is called back, though, because of an illegal shift. No problem, though. Scotland still has some time on the board. Bell makes Richmond pay on the final play of the half. Throws to Bruce Walls in the end zone. 23-yard touchdown pass. Scotland led 34-27 at the half. Third quarter, Bell comes out on fire, keeps it, runs down the sideline. 42 ticks for the Scotland touchdown. Scott's ahead by 14. And just for good measure, Bell breaks several tackles and gets loose yet again, making it look easy. 61 yards later, number 10 is in the end zone again. This young man could play some football. Scotland pulls away from there. Zamir with a late touchdown to add to his stat total. Scotland County beats Richmond 69-47. The Scots will get a bye in the first round of the Class 4A North Carolina playoffs. They win the region championship, and that puts them at 9-1 and 7-0 in conference with that conference title heading into the postseason. And what a game it was for Scotland. What a regular season it was. But now comes the nitty gritty, so to speak. The Scots have been here a lot in the last couple of years. They just haven't quite got over the hump with regards to winning a state championship. But this gives them all kinds of momentum as they have rattled off eight consecutive wins since losing to Mauer Creek in that opener to start the season. Our own Mark Haggard with the winning team, Zamir, Coach Bailey, and the Scots. You got it. The Scotland Fighting Scots are in the end zone for the first time ever. And why not? A seventh consecutive region championship with a victory over their arch rival, Richmond. Coach Richard Bailey joins me now. Coach, what a game. High scoring game. Yeah, it was a great game. Great for the fans. It was back and forth for most of the night. Just a great job by these players and the coaches. And I tell you what, these kids laid it on the line tonight. We have 32 seniors. Uh, they really played their butts off. And I'm proud of them. Seven in a row, especially against those guys. And uh, seven consecutive un um, undefeated conference championships. So I'm really proud of our coaching staff and all these kids and our community turning out like they did tonight. Wow, you talk about a turnout maybe about 10,000 fans here tonight. I don't think people realize that in this area. 10,000 fans yeah. at a high school football game. Yeah, it's always like that. These uh, Both fan bases, Richmond does a great job with their fan base, and our fan base is second to nobody's, and it's an unbelievable atmosphere for our kids. Your fans are so fantastic. They really are. The cheerleaders, I mean, you've got a band the Scots band, 140 people in that band, and they come out there in their kilts. What a college-like atmosphere. It really is. You know, they're tailgating before the game. You know, it's just a great atmosphere.
atmosphere. Our band's won three or four little championships in a row, so shout out to the band. But, uh, you know, hey, we try to win at everything at Scotland, Scotland High School. All right, HTC game ball. I don't think we have to worry about, uh, you know, scratching our heads about this one. Zamir White. Zamir, what do you think, buddy? Great game, man. We came out here, played great. Yo, my team, man. Thank y'all, boys, for helping me get here, man. For real. I want you to thank a man who wears number 75. Tyler Smith. Oh, yeah, he laid some blocks. Oh. Tell me about Tyler. Hey, Tyler, a dog, man, for real. He a dog. <laughs> All right, you had the whole offensive line. You had 22 carries for 310 yards, yes, returned a kickoff 90 yards for a score. So my math tells me that's 400 total yards. Yes, sir. Blessed, man. Just blessed, man. Blocking real good. My team did great. So. Yes, you are blessed, and I, I think the uh, University of Georgia running backs coach was here tonight, and yes, he kind of liked what he saw. Yes, sir. He did. Tell me about this Richmond rivalry with Scotland. The people at home can understand how vicious this rivalry is. Um, crazy, man. See the fans out here like this, so yeah, you know it's real. <laughs> so, yes, sir. And you leave your career, your last regular season game here. You've got a bye in the playoffs next week, but you leave your career undefeated against Richmond. That's yes, kind of got to make you four feel times? good. Yes, sir. Four and no. Four and no, four and no right. man. All right, Zeus. Yes, they sir. call him Zeus. Zamir White and Coach Bailey. Definitely just some final thoughts. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to Warren Bell as well. Um, even the wide receivers did a great job uh, blocking tonight. It wasn't, hey, it wasn't much of a pass catch tonight, but it just wasn't that kind of night. But tonight, uh, Warren had over 200 yards himself. Uh, great job. Defensively made enough stops. Marquise Wilson with an unbelievable interception uh, right return for a touchdown. That was phenomenal. But a great team effort, and we just got to get ready for the playoffs to get everybody healthy. All right, that's going to wrap it up from here, the Scotland Scots in the end zone. Guys, let's hear it.